Okay, I'm going to do question two. Let's do a full screen here. Question two here. Now, students can jump ahead. So if you want, you could pause between videos and have students jump ahead and try to come up with the equations. But right now, I'll start with uh, question two. So you could pause it now, see if they can come up, and then play it, see if they got the videos or got the equations. So let's take a look. The outside of Sarah's house needs painting. She has to decide between two companies. Company A charges $100 for material plus $30 per hour. And Company G B sorry, charges $135 for material and $25 per hour. How many hours of painting will result in the same cost at both companies? What is that cost? So we need to find the uh, hours, so time. So let, let T represent time in hours. And let C represent cost. Now you guys will have to write smaller than me in dollars because to fit it, there's not that much space there. So in dollars or dollars like that. In dollars. Um, I'm using a thicker marker, Sharpie marker, so, you can, so it's clear, which is why I need a bit more room as well. Okay, company A, let's come up with the equation. $100, so cost. It's $30 an hour, so 30T okay, plus 100, plus the $100 at the start. And company B charges, well, it's 25T, the cost here is 25T plus 135. In this case, we're going to use substitution. We know the Cs are the same, so these two numbers are the same. So... I'm just going to go and I'm going to write 30t plus 100 equals 25t plus 135. <clears throat> now, students can now figure out t. So this t here, so it's not a plus sign, it's a t. They can now go and solve that t. Once they find that t, they can sub it back into this t over here, these t's over here. That first one, or the second one, maybe the first one. And I'll sub back to the first one and get the answer. So pause the video, and then have the kids solve it. And we'll see if they get it right. Okay, so and then, so hopefully the kids have had enough time. Hopefully give them five minutes. Now I'm going to finish this question here. So the 25T comes over. It becomes minus 25T when it crosses the equal sign. The 135 stays on this side. The 100 goes on the other side, so it becomes minus. So see that minus 100 goes on this side and the 25 this side, so it changes. 30 minus 25. So we go to our calculator. <coughs> 5T equals 135 minus 100. 35. Then we're going to divide by 5. Divide by 5. So t equals 35 divided by 5. 35 divided by 5. 7. We're going to plug the 7 back into the first equation. So c is 30. t plus 100. Oops. We're going to put the 7 in for the t. So 30 times 7 plus 100. I'm going to go to our calculator here. 30 bracket 7 plus 100. And you get 310. So now we can answer our question. Which was what, how many hours of painting, so how many hours of painting would result in the same cost? And what is the cost? Well, 7 hours of painting. Seven hours of painting. So we can put it there for a statement. Would result in the same cost of 310 bucks. Well, let's bring that down a bit here. There, now I've got the whole question on the sheet. I can pause it if some kids need some more time to... Uh, 
to copy that. So you can pause it. Uh, students can set up the equations for question three now. So you can pause it and give them maybe a few minutes to see if they can set up the equations. Okay, see if they figure out the let statements. Then I'm going to put up question three in the next video.